Hello, I'm Gwendoline Finas de Vilaine. I'm 44, French, I live in Paris. I'm a writer, singer and painter. I think uh, all these skills um, are uh, complete themselves. It's very important for me to paint at uh, 44 years old because before I was singer at the Folie Bergère and also I wrote uh, four novels. And for me, my painting is like uh, music on um, paper. I think that when all that I did is influenced by cubism, surrealism and also Chinese art, and of course, it's, there is a lot of music in my painting. A lot of esotericism, parallel sciences, <laughs> a little intellect because I did long, long studies at HEC Paris and also uh, Sciences Po Paris. And uh, it's a mix that's very interesting today for me. When I was young, I promised myself to decorate my own house with my own work, <laughs> own painting. Uh, when I uh, bought a house in Garch three years ago, I began painting after an amazing exhibition of Akinori Aga. He's a Japanese painter at the Musée des Arts Décoratifs of Paris. I was very touched by his heart and when I came back, I began to draw these little points, caviar ink, like a spider canva, and I began to trust in myself. I have um, always drawn a lot in parallel of writing and singing, and it, it was very important for me to express this part of me, because for me it's the most freedom part when I, um, I draw and I paint. It's, uh, it's for me the most personal way to express myself. This is my technique. I have all invented, I have no classical formation. That's interesting because everything that you can see is like biomorphic work. It's like a Yakuza tattoo. It's like, uh, you know, I am tattooing on the paper and this technique is something really new that you will never see anywhere. And that's the reason why I, want so, I wanted something a little crazy because I was at the Folie Bergère, a little crazy horse. And of course, this is an homage, a tribute to Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker, she was a performer and with crazy, it was a little something Parisian, something show and something like me. <laughs> ago during the confinement I understood that uh, all the galleries were closed but that the street art remained open so for me it was very interesting to ask something new and I sent an email to the mayor of the fifth uh, arrondissement of Paris I want to do something for the young generation with the food precarity of the, the students in Paris. And uh, I had this idea of draw a woman with a book because for me, education is the most important thing and they had to hold on uh, during this military crisis. So it was the beginning of this very big fresco. And uh, we did this with, in partenariat with the Sorbonne and uh, the fifth arrondissement of Paris. In uh, November, 30 November, Josephine Baker went to the Panthéon in Paris. It was a very important day because Josephine Baker, this is an international star. She also is a resistant. I, I find her really amazing. Uh, she inspired me every day because she was really, really strong, a strong woman. And I paint this painting in November in parallel of her enter in the Panthéon. I always have the, had the idea to do something very big, like a tribute to her generosity and her personality. So again, with the fifth uh, arrondissement of Paris and the Panthéon, we proposed this puzzle work of art. It was a, a very, very big uh, stage on the bottom, 1,000 quadrameters in uh, homage of Josephine Baker. 
a very famous paparazzi came and saw the Josephine Baker first version and told me, hey, this is a maniaco depressive hobby. And uh, it was really true. <laughs> when I was 15 years old, uh, my, my father is a psychotherapist. He was before a contemporary dancer. And I'm very, very touched by the power of the unconscious. And I connect myself. I also like a lot esotericism and parallel sciences. I, I learned to um, play the cards, you know, tarot cards during the confinement. And I connect myself in a second, like a parallel world. And, I, and I, it's like I don't control anything. It's like my unconscious, it's like paint, automatic painting. I don't control, I control nothing. It's very difficult to, to explain also because, but I feel good. It's like uh, when, so when I was uh, younger, I, I go to the Fondation P who um, carried on uh, uh, psychotic passions and uh, it, it was this, there was a woman, she was painting all the time with a stylobic blue and with little uh, round like this and I think I was very marked by this démarche because she seems so happy, so free that uh, maybe uh, it's, uh, it's like Kusama and I, I, do, I do the same thing. So first, Cubism and African art are my two first love in painting. And then uh, Japanese artists like Akino Riaga, of course, because, um, and also the tattoo artists. I think it's very interesting this way to maybe the Yakuza tattoo. The, the, yes, this is between West and East, between Cubism and uh, Japanese art. That's a very, very important part uh, of my work. I work with a lot of women. <laughs> and most of my team is a woman team. And uh, for me, uh, Josephine Baker, it was not the resistant or the black woman or the activist first. It was because there is only six women after Simone Veil at the Panthéon. She explained a real liberty. Uh, one of my very big mentors is also uh, Gabrielle Chanel. And the book of Paul Morand, of course, is a very big reference for me. Uh, I think that uh, as a woman, we have today beauty to explain something uh, very important for the new generation, especially uh, <laughs> in these complicated times. And uh, I try always to uh, defend women in heart in all that, that I do. It's very important for the artist to be engaged today. For me, uh, only art is not interesting. Uh, art with a message, art with um, a mission is really most interesting for the future. And this is a role to bring this higher and to defend uh, our uh, uh, ethic. Like uh, Josephine Baker, for, for example, for me she is a compass. I said that she is a compass because she never uh, did um, bad choices and uh, I try to for the students for the women also for the students in HHC business school I always try to have a message uh, in parallel of my work this is a tribute to um, a wonderful musical in Broadway that I adore this is a tribute to Wicked and I want to have this uh, little character in the center. And this is better, this is a little <laughs> happier. Appear. Uh, here you have uh, I love you. Always uh, this caviar ink technique with uh, uh, India, India ink and uh, the mix of uh, uh, cubism influence. Ah, oh, my future project. <laughs> Uh, I have a crazy project in China. I want to come back to China. In 2019, uh, I was in Shanghai with my family and uh, I was very impressed by the Chinese people, uh, the energy of the city. And I want to go back uh, on the Grand Muraille, uh, I don't know, the big mower of uh, China. And I would like to prepare something uh, a little monumental again for 2024. Gwendoline Finas de Vilaine, Foxy Lab, New York.